Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do trig functions on the TI-84 plus graphing calculator. To do this we'll be using the sine, cosine, and tan keys that look like this located along here as well as the second function key that looks like this located here, the mode key that looks like this located here beside the second function key and the inverse key that looks like this located here. The examples shown here will be done using degrees. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in degree mode. To do that press mode and that'll bring us to this menu here. And If we scroll down twice we see we have either radians or degrees. If we're working with radians, we want it to be in radians. If we we're working with degrees, we want degrees to be highlighted. It's selected right now, but if it's not, you can scroll over, press enter, and then you can clear yourself out of this menu. And we're ready to get started. We'll start with the basics, sine, cosine, and tan. So if we wanted to find the sine of 30 degrees, you press the sine key, you see sine appear on your screen with an open bracket and then you enter the 30 which is the number of degrees we have close our bracket and press enter and see that we get a result of sine of 30 is equal to 0.5 you do cosine the same way cos 30 close our bracket and press enter this gives us 0 0.8660 etc and tan of 30, tan, enter the 30, close our bracket, and press enter. There we go, this gives us 0 0.57735, etc. Which we could round to 0 0.5774, if we're only going to four decimal places there. Alright, easy enough. This calculator can also give us arc or inverse sine, cosine, and tangent. To do that we use the second function of the sine, cos, and tan keys. This is when we go from the say result of 0 0.5 backwards and want to find out how many degrees were used. So if we're doing arc sine or inverse sine we would press second and then the sine and on our screen we see sine to the power of negative 1 or an inverse symbol up there and then we have our open brackets and we would enter our 0.5 here. Close our brackets, press enter. And we see this brings us back to 30 degrees. Arc cos or inverse cos, same thing, second cos, and we'll enter a result from the last time of 0 0.8660, which we rounded. Close our bracket and enter, and we get a result that would round to 30 degrees. Same thing, arc or inverse tan, we go second, tan, enter our 0 0.5774, close our bracket, and press enter, and again we get what would round to 30 degrees. We can also find cosecant, secant, and cotangent on this calculator. To do that, we have to inverse the corresponding sine, cosine, or tan function. So, for example, if we wanted to find the cosecant of 30 degrees, we have to use sine. So we start by entering the sine of 30, like we did before, and if we hit enter, that gives us 0.5, and then we want to inverse this with the inverse key. That's this one here, the x to the power of negative 1. So we go answer inverse, press enter, and see we get a result. Cosecant of 30 is equal to 2. For secant, we use cos. So we go cos of 30, close our bracket, and we don't have to press enter here. We can just go straight to the inverse and press enter 
and see this gives us a result of the secant of 30 is equal to 1.1547 etc. And for cotangent we use tan, so again tan of 30, close our bracket, inverse, press enter, and we see we get cotangent of 30 is equal to 1.7320 etc or rounded to 1.7321. If you wanted to work with radians, you would follow these same steps, except in the mode menu, choose radians. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!